Hello boys and girls and welcome to my ENL classroom. My name is Mr. W. So, hello, bonjour, buenos dias, mingalaba, salamu alaikum, jambo san. It's good to see you. Are you ready? We're going to begin with our song, Who, What, Where, When, and Why, and then we'll talk about our story and those words. Are you ready? Here we go. Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? Sing with me. Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? Who are the people or the characters in your story? You can say he, she, we, they, or them. Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? What can be a thing or an action in your story? You can say what is it or what are they doing? Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? Where is a place or the setting of your story? You can say, where are they? Where is it happening? Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? Why is a question that is answered with because? Why are you singing? I am singing because it's fun. Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? You sang beautifully. Okay, so in this song, we talk about who, what, where, when, and why. Characters. Characters are the who in your story. Who are they? They are the characters. Then we'll talk about the action in the story. What happened? What did they do? Then we may talk about the setting of the story. The setting is where they are, where everything is happening. That's our setting. And then we'll ask why. We'll ask why did they do what they did in the story. Are you ready? Thanks for singing with me. Hello, boys and girls. Now we're going to speak about our story, Let's Go to the Moon. Who are we talking about? We are talking about astronauts. What did the astronaut do? The astronaut walked on the moon. Where are the astronauts in this story? They are on the moon. Why do astronauts wear spacesuits? They wear spacesuits to help them breathe in space. Great job! Hello, boys and girls. Here we are at our lesson on the letter O, and this is our T-chart. The letter O makes two sounds, a short O sound of a, ah, a, ah, octopus, and a long O sound of O, O, oval. We're going to put these words in the correct places, and we're also going to count the sounds in the words and put their letters in the right places. Are you ready? Let's start right here with this word. Top. Top. Let's break it up. T. A. P. Top. Can you use your hands? T. A. P. Top. Fantastic. Let's write it in. T. A. Top. Top. Great job. I hear a short O sound right here. T op, like octopus. We're going to move this right up here. Top. And we're going to get rid of these now. Okay. Let's move on. Look at this word. Rover. Rover. Oh, we learned about that in our story. The rover was that car that drove on the moon. The rover. Here we 
Here we go. Four sounds. Let's write it in. Not a great R, but okay. Oh, look, two letters making one sound. Er. E-R, when they're next to each other, often says er. Er, o, v, er. Four sounds. One, two, three, four, five letters. I hear a long O sound here. Er, over. Yes, so Rover is going to go over here. Excellent. All right, let's look at our next word. Just a second here. Our next word will be on. On. You're right, that's a power word. On. Ah. N. On. Ah. On. On. Excellent. I hear a short O. Ah, 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 octopus, ah, ah, on, goes right over here. Fantastic. All right, get ready for our next word. Oliver, Oliver, that's the name of our owl, Oliver. Oh, that's why there's a big O, a capital O, because it's a name. And we put capital letters at the beginnings of names. Oliver. Let's write it here. Ah. <laughs> we got an arrow here. That's funny. Look at that, five sounds. And again, the E-R at the end makes one sound. Er, ah, 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 like octopus, Oliver. Oliver is going to be a short O word. Fantastic. Good job, boys and girls. All right. Let's move to here. Mop, mop. Good job. Let's write it in. Mm. Ah. Map. Map. M a p. Three sounds. O in this word says ah, like octopus. Map. Yes, it goes right over here. Here we go. Let's move on. Toe, toe, hmm, t, o, toe, t, o, oh, you know what happens here? These two letters work together. Toe, t, o, so o is next to a magic silent e. You don't hear the e, but this e makes the o say O instead of ah. Toe, t, o. Two sounds, three letters. Toe has a long O in it. Fantastic. Let's move on. <clears throat> over, over. Oh, I heard you. You heard the long O sound right away, didn't you? Over. Good job. Yes, long O. It goes right over here. Over. Over, let's write it. Over, over. Three sounds, but there's four letters. Do you remember where they go? Let's see if you can figure it out. Oh, 
you're right. ER next to each other again. Over. Over. Good job, boys and girls. Excellent work. Okay, let's move on. The word is stop. Stop. Ooh. St-a-p. S-t-a-p. Stop. Four sounds. S-t-a-p. I hope you're using your hands, boys and girls. St ah. This O has a short O sound. Ah, like octopus. Stop's gonna go over here. All right. Are you ready for our next word? No. You're not ready? No? I'm kidding. No. N O. No. Two sounds. Mm. Let's write that again. Oof. Let's try that again. Mm. Oh. No. Excellent job. This is a long O. N O O O like oval. No goes over here. Okay. So. So, oh, you heard it, the long O, S, O, so. How many sounds did you count? S, O, S, O. You're right, two sounds, two letters. Let's move on. Open, open, open. Hmm, this is interesting. Oh, oh, you said it. Open starts with a long O. You're right, it goes over here. Open. Oh, p, e, n, op, n, open. Very good job. Let's move on. Octopus. Ah. Look at that, that's an octopus, short O. Ah, ah, octopus, it's going right here. How funny, let's move on. Lots, lots, you're right, that's a 1G power word, lots. Let's break it up. L, a, t, s, l, a, t, s, lots. Lots. Four sounds. Four sounds. Do you hear this O? Ah, ah, ah. Octopus. There it is. Lots goes over here. You're so smart. Last word. Take a look at it. What do you think it is? Ah. P. Hop. Ah. P. Three letters. Three sounds. Did you hear it here? Ah, ah, ah. There it is. Op. Second sound is a short O. Fantastic job, boys and girls. We finished. All right. On to the next activity. I'll see you later. Hello, boys and girls. It's me again, Oliver Owl. I hope you're having fun. I'd like to sing a song with you. It's called Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. You know it? Great, let's sing together. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. In our song, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, there are rhyming words at the end of every line we sang. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, 
how I wonder what you are. Star and R are rhyming words. That means they end with the same sound, R. And then there's the line that says, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Wow. High and sky. Both end with the sound I. Sk. I. Ha. I. That means they rhyme. Isn't that fun? Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back. Now we're going to make our new paper craft an airplane because we talked about flying. The astronauts fly in space and owls fly and planes fly and we had a lot of fun with flying things. Are you ready? Here we go. We just need paper. Sometimes I like to use scissors and some tape but we'll start with paper. I'll start by turning it this way and folding up until these two lines meet. Put a nice crease and open it up and turn it this way. Next, I'll take this corner and I'll bring this down like this until so this part is straight along with this line right here. Do you see this? And then I put a crease. What shape did I make? Oh, I made a triangle. Great. Okay. I'm going to make the same one on this side. As best as I can. There we go. Two triangles. Now I'm going to do it again. Fold this over like this. I hold it at the top a little bit. And then I break this part right here. I put it along this line again in the middle. And I put a nice crease in there. I'll do the same thing on this side. Fold this over here like this. Okay, do you see that? Okay, does yours look like mine so far? Yes? Okay. Now I'm going to put it this way and fold it in half. Like this. Do you see? Okay. And place it down in front of me. Now there's the body of the plane. There's the front. There's the back. I'm going to fold this down to make a wing about halfway. You see that? That's where I made the fold, right there, halfway. And then I flipped it over. And do the same thing again. Make it look the same as this one. Fold it over so it looks about the same. And look at that. There is my airplane. Pretty neat, huh? Now you don't have to, but I like to do something special on my airplanes. I'm going to make what they call elevators. I'm just going to take my scissors. I cut a little bit here and a little bit here. I'm going to fold it up just a little bit like this. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. I'll just cut a little bit here and a little bit here. And fold it up a little bit. 
Now let's go fly it. Are you ready?